Hi, Miguel. My name is Marie Wood. I'm an attorney. I've been appointed to represent you. Um, I'd like to let the interpreters introduce themselves first. And Lamar is making the introductions. He's introducing himself as uh, Lamar Ray. And he has introduced my, the English using interpreter is Marva Johnson. And hi, I'm Miguel. And Miguel, here's my business card. Um, it has my telephone number on it if you need, if you have any questions. You can use the video conferencing phone to contact me, and if I'm not there, you can leave a message on my voicemail. Stop telling me to stop. He's obviously having a conversation with someone that's not there. Okay. So I can call you using an interpreter through an interpreter? Through the, through the phone. It's a video phone, and if you have questions about using it, the staff can help you. It would be the same type of phone you would use at home to call people who are able to hear. Great, great. Okay. And the reason I'm here today is because the hospital has filed paperwork with the court asking that you stay here for a period of up to six months. Has any, have you, any of your doctors talked to you about that? Six months or four months, and he is now looking off to, to let you know he is looking off to the side. Okay. It's for a period of six months. Okay. okay. Would you like to tell me a little bit? Six months and then I will be allowed to go home? No. It will be six months, and then if it's shorter than six months, they can just... They can, shorter than six months, they can release you when you're ready to be released. If it's longer than six months, then we have to go back in front of a judge. The interpreters need a clarification. Okay. Um, so, I'm sorry. Could you um, explain the six months okay. again, please? I, I'm going to start from an earlier place. The, the hospital has asked that you be required to stay here. 
And when the hospital makes that request, it's called a civil commitment. And with a civil commitment, the first commitment is for no longer than six months. Okay. Okay. If the hospital wants to let you go before the six months is over, they can release you. But if it's, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I would be able to go home before the six months time. The hospital could release you. I want to emphasize could. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions about what was going on before you came into the hospital. Okay? You want to talk about that? Uh, Miguel seems to be speaking to someone that isn't there. Okay. And uh, the interpreter is re-emphasizing what he just interpreted. Okay. Okay. M Miguel, can you tell me what you got arrested for? My mother got upset with me, and I, we weren't communicating, and I do not know why I ended up here. Okay. Does your mother speak American Sign Language? My mother is not fluent. Okay. So were you guys having an argument or a disagreement? I was just trying to communicate with my mother and she misunderstood me. I wasn't trying to argue. How long, do you live with your mom? I do, yes. Okay. And um, when you and your mom were were having this discussion, was she facing you or was her back toward you? I was 
behind my mother and um, I came by, brushed by her, and I'm not really sure what happened from there. And did she call the police after that happened? I didn't hurt my mother at all. I um, assumed she called the police because I opened the door and um, the police arrested me. So I, yes, I do suspect she did call the police, but I didn't do anything. Okay. Before we go any further, I, I want to explain to you <clears throat> that I'm your attorney and that anything that you tell me is private. It's confidential. I can't tell any anyone anything that you say. So what I say is, is kept between the two of us and the government officials. They won't be involved? No, they won't. It's, it's important for you to understand that I have to put together a case for you, but the things that you tell me privately stay just between the two of us. I, I promise not to tell any government officials. So you're sure that this is just going to stay between us? There's going to be no government people involved? No. The only time I could tell a staff member here in the hospital anything you say is if you tell me you want to hurt yourself or you're going to hurt somebody in the hospital. That's the only time I could tell anybody. And I would try to talk to you about that before I had to tell someone. I'm not going to hurt myself. I understand it's just going to be between, between us, and I'm not going to hurt other people. 
Okay, that's good to hear. I'm happy to hear that. So how have things been going for you since you've been here in the hospital? It's been fine. It's been fine. I'm just ready to go home. And um, this is the interpreter speaking at the end of that. He seems to be speaking to someone that isn't there. Okay. Have you ever been in a hospital like this before? I've been in several different hospitals. Do you remember the name of the last one you were in? This hospital, the same hospital, WRHC, um, in um, Worcester. And how long were you here the last time you were here? And he seems to be speaking to someone off to the side. The interpreters are clarifying. It wasn't another hospital. It was the same hospital, and I the last day was for eight or nine months. When you were here before, did they tell you what your diagnosis was, what your mental health diagnosis is? Are we, the interpreters need clarification, so are we talking about the hospital before this commitment? Yes, he was. He said he was in this hospital before this commitment. I, I just want to know what his diagnosis was when he was here, when he was hospitalized before. The interpreters are going to get clarification against one another. Give us just a moment. Okay.
I was in a, um, to clarify, I was in a hospital, a different hospital before this commitment. It was the Marlboro Hospital, and it is um, staffed by all hearing people, and all hearing people go there. Okay. Did they tell you that you had something called schizophrenia? I wasn't there for schizophrenia. I was there to control my mood. Okay. Um, and when you were at that other hospital, did you ever go to court to make you stay in the hospital for that nine months that you stayed? I did not. Okay, so you, you agreed that you wanted to stay in that hospital for the period of time that you were there. So do you mean I signed a piece of paper saying that I would stay there? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Yes, I, I guess I agreed. Yes, I remember signing that paper. And how, how old were you when you were in that, in that hospital? I'm 30 now, and I'm trying to figure out. It was two or three years ago. So, yeah, I was 28 at the time. Okay. <clears throat> that wasn't meant to be a trick question. I'm just trying to put your timeline together in my head. Okay. Okay. Um, do you think that you're that being in the hospital is helping you to control your mood?
the medicine isn't helping. Um, I've been through a lot of adjustments. Uh, and then this is the interpreter speaking. He's speaking off to someone that, to the side saying and asking that person, is it helping me? Is the medicine helping me? What do you think? And he's having a side conversation with someone that's not there. Okay. Miguel, um, I was just told that you're having a conversation with someone on the side. Is that, can you tell me a little bit about that? Who you're, who you're hearing? No. Okay. No. It's the government's watching. I don't want to tell. No. Okay. I don't. It's a secret. That's okay. That's okay. You don't have to tell me if you don't want. Maybe next time. And I can't tell her. I can't tell her, right? No, no, no. Okay. Miguel, next 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 Wednesday, we're scheduled to go in front of the court to determine whether or not you need to stay in the hospital. Um, do you want to come to that hearing with me? Should I tell her? Should I tell her? Side conversation. Yes, I do want to go. Yes. Okay. And at that hearing, the judge has got to figure four things out. And mm hmm and those four things are, first of all, are, are you mentally ill? Secondly is, are you a danger to yourself or somebody else? Number three is, can you care for and protect yourself in the community? Do you have some place to live? That's the bit most important thing. And the fourth, fourth thing is, if you can't go home, is there another place you can go that will keep you safe? So let's talk about Hold those things. I'm going to, uh, the interpreter now is going to interpret it. It's going to take a little bit more time than okay. it has in the previous discussions. Miguel has stated that he's fine. He doesn't have a mental illness. Um, and he also is not a danger to himself. And then he spoke to that person and said, you know, we're not going to hurt anybody, right?
and as um, and Miguel has stated, as far as taking care of um, myself, I can take <coughs> care of myself. And um, uh, if I cannot go home, I um, could go to a group home that will have a deaf advocate there. Okay, so what the hospital is saying is that you and your mom got in a fight and that your mom is afraid of you because you're not taking your medications and not doing what you're supposed to do. So if the doctor says that, what, what is our answer going to be to that? Just to let you know, Miguel's having um, conversations and he's asking about making cookies and um, reiterating to that person that's not there that they're not going to hurt anybody. And now um, the interpreter is interpreting the question. I do take my medicine in the morning. My mother is the one that got confused. Um, she said, take it at night. And I said, no, take it in the morning. And it's not, uh, to clarify, it's not, we weren't fighting. We were just having an argument. All right. do, do you want to take a break, Miguel? Do you need to take a breather? Yes, I need a break. I'm hungry. Okay. Can you hold on? Uh, yes, and everyone talking to me, I'm, I'm getting confused. Okay. What are you, can you give me one, one thing that you're confused about and maybe I can help you clarify it? I, I, yes, I need a break because this person is telling me I need to buy cookies and I, um, I, just, I just need a break. I'm getting confused. Yes. Um, I need to refocus. I need to try to focus. Okay. Is there, is there something I can do to help you do that? I, the, the medicine helps me focus, but I, I just need a break. I need a break. Um, can I ask you a few more questions? 
just a few. Uh, that's, that's okay, but you're going to keep it short, right? And now he's speaking to this person and letting them know, well, we'll be done soon. We'll be done soon. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about court. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. When we go to court, the hospital has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt those four things that we talked about, that you're dangerous to other people, you're dangerous to yourself, and that you can't take care of yourself in the community. Um, the judge then gets to make the decision. So do you understand that? I just want to let you know that he's still speaking to the person that isn't there and letting them know we'll be done soon, we'll be done soon, reassuring them. So now um, the interpretation process is beginning. Thank you. Um, while he's, while he made his utterance, he, he was speaking to that person to the side, but his answer to the question is, I'm, I'm fine. I can take, I, I want you there to support me through the process. I'm, and he does, un, and I do understand. Okay. And he's still talking to the person that isn't there. So my, the next step for me is I need to go take a look at your medical records and see about how your hospital stay is going. I'll come see you later this week, probably with these two interpreters with me. Will you meet with me when I come back to the hospital? still looking off to the side to the person. Yes, I will meet with you. Okay. Is that, I, I think, Miguel, we've and covered. And we've, the person that doesn't seem to be there is 
wanting him to finish it up. Okay. And... I've asked you a lot of questions today, and I appreciate your time. Next time I meet with you, I may have some tough questions to ask you. So um, are you going to be all right with that? Just to let you know, he's telling the person that he's been speaking to or he's saying, you know, leave me alone. I'm scared right now. Don't, I'm, don't criticize me. Don't. And now the interpretation process is beginning. I'm fine with the questions next time. Are we going to be done soon? Yes. Do you have any questions for me? I don't have any more questions. Um, I don't have any more questions. We need to end soon because he's telling me that, or that person's telling me that I need to go shopping. Okay. I'm going to let you go then. Call me with any questions. Okay, great. Thank you. And it's important that you keep this to, between us. Don't tell anybody. You have my word. I won't tell anybody anything you've said. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.